The future of military aviation seems locked down in the Tempest and NGAD efforts at the moment, but it is never too early for nations like Russia, China, or the US to start thinking about what a seventh-generation fighter might look like. The future is always around the corner, so we can always expect something new. Sometimes it will be small steps forward, while other times it will be great leaps ahead. With military hardware, we've really reached a point where most of the advances are evolutionary building on past successes and proven features rather than revolutionary, which could take designers in an entirely new direction, such is the case with the B-21 Raider, which is now in development. It is mainly building on the successes of the B-2 Spirit, and both feature a flying wing design. Likewise, most sixth-generation fighter designs have focused on what worked with fifth-generation aircraft and have taken it much further. The question, then, is what we can expect with the next generation beyond what is already in the prototype stage. Yet, even aviation experts can only ponder what we could expect to see. It's important to first note that generations don't really exist. They only come into being as a way of classifying aircraft, since Lockheed Martin used the term fifth generation to describe its F-35 and all older aircraft were kind of backfilled into what previous generation they were determined to best fit. So the F-4 became a third generation aircraft and the year of fighter of fourth generation aircraft, etc., said Jennings. Lockheed Martin will readily admit that it was a marketing gimmick to make their products stand out, but it has stuck and is now in widespread use. In fact, the generation designation of our modern aircraft is based on the warbirds built after that conflict. The U.S. Air Force has since broken down the respective capabilities of the generational designations. First generation, jet propulsion. Second generation, swept wings, range-finding radar, and infrared guided missiles. Third generation, supersonic flight, pulse radar, and missiles that can engage opponents from beyond visual range. Fourth generation, high levels of agility, some degree of sensor fusion, pulse Doppler radar, reduced radar signature, fly-by-wire, look-down slash shoot-down missiles, and more. So the thing about generations is that each new generation focuses on a number of key performance attributes, while retaining the key performance attributes that define the generations before it, Jennings suggested. As an example, the third-generation F-4 Phantom retained the supersonic speed that largely defined the previous generation but added to that advanced for its day mission computing and guided missiles. In addition, the fourth-generation aircraft then took all of this and added fly-by-wire and advanced avionics, whilst the fifth-generation took all of this and added stealth, sensor fusion, and supercruise, Jennings noted. Fifth-generation As noted, the development of the fifth-generation has been a long time coming, dating back to the ATF program of the 1980s. However, many of the capabilities have been greatly enhanced since, the current F-35 best exemplifies a fifth-generation aircraft, and it can also be described as a flying computer as it has more software than any other air combat aircraft. With 7 million lines of code in the aircraft and a further 7 million lines of code in the supporting ground systems, the F-35 is expected to remain in service through the 2070s. The sixth generation. Efforts are currently underway to develop the next generation of combat aircraft with the United States, Japan, Russia, the United Kingdom, Sweden, Italy, France, Germany, Spain, China, and India, all currently involved in producing a sixth-generation fighter that could enter service by the middle to late 2030s. As these efforts are still very much in the early stages, there is no conclusive agreement on what exactly defines a sixth-generation fighter, but it is generally would include enhanced human systems integration that could include a helmet-mounted display with a 360-degree vision, artificial intelligence, Ah, enhanced battlefield awareness, advanced stealth airframes and avionics, increased range standoff and beyond visual range BVR, weapons, and advanced digital capabilities that could further feature AI, data fusion, cyber warfare and data to decision D2D capability. A key facet of the sixth generation would be that the aircraft could be optionally manned and supported by autonomous drones, the so-called loyal wingmen. Moreover, the aircraft could be equipped with directed energy weapons including high-powered microwaves and lasers that could be used to counter incoming weapons, but which could also be employed offensively. If you enjoy content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this video because I appreciate all your support.